How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is Mackenzie, and we are once again back in Moria. If you're wondering where we are, we are actually currently in the Arboretum, standing in the treetops. Uh, probably the best view I have been able to give you as of yet of the uh, lava ceiling since I have done it. God, that turned out cool. Let's see here. Where did I come up here from? Here we go. So, I've done... The big thing I wanted to show you was that, obviously, I've uh, finally had all but one of my trees in here grow in. Hoping that last one does pretty soon here. I've done one or two other things since then. Mainly, I've put in a couple of new sets of rail. Uh, and both of them actually branch out fairly close to here. So, we will check both of them out. The first one is going to be right over here. And it is actually on the way to the Great Crossing. You'll notice this new stairway here. I'm going to go in and I'm going to cobble all of that. <coughs> Pardon me, make it look a little nicer. This is one of the longer rail lines I've done. And it doesn't lead to anything in particular yet. Uh, it basically runs through a bunch of kind of new caverns that I have come across of late. Takes us up into a little station I built here. Give you kind of a bearing on where we are. There are the torch stands. Um, and you can see the lookout up there. So that gives you a little bit... I don't know for sure what I'm going to do here yet. I know I'm going to do something to expand over into this area. I just haven't decided quite what yet. I'm thinking I might uh, bridge over and see if I can find some new chasms underneath that island. Um, there's also... Let me see... I haven't been through it recently, but I believe it's this way... So this here? Yeah, this is it. If you follow this, it takes you into a stair. Oh, need to fix that. Which, this stair leads you up and into this hallway, which you might recognize from last video. This is the way that I made into the... Uh, Viewing lounge. Are there animals in my lounge again? I hear a cow. He's not inside. Thank God. If he was, I'd have been pissed. Stupid cows. Annoying. So let's go on back in. We'll cut through the sunroom. And actually, the sunroom is where we need to go. This is the other thing that I've put in. You'll remember in the early videos, I commented on a rail section that was pretty broken, but I mentioned that it was the way that we found our uh, way back to the great room when that big glitch happened. Well, I went through and I put it back together. Nothing big. Just a little rail line that takes us down to the great room entrance. So I've been thinking about different projects, and we're trying to figure out exactly where I want to go next. Um, and I'm kind of looking for some suggestions on it. I've got a couple of ideas. The first of which is I need to do something with this. This is the pit. I've shown it to you guys before. Big 
honking chasm. I'm not sure how deep it is. Maybe I'll actually explore that in another video. Um, oops. Didn't mean to do that. But, uh, I want to do something with it. I just don't know quite what yet. Obviously, we got a lot of water in there. Well, there's the bottom. But it's still fairly deep. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll square this out and uh, do something with it. I just had... not sure what. I'm looking for some suggestions on that. The other thing is I've got another room that I've cut. And again, I've shown it to you before. Uh, let's head back up. We're actually going to go into the chasm here. That's another project, is to take the chasm further down, but I have... You know, I wonder. Just judging off of positioning, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to investigate, but... I wonder if the chasm is over the pit. If it is, that could potentially be something neat. The other area I've got that I've kind of started doing something with is over here. Um, this way. Even I get turned around in my own place sometimes. They've shown you this before. I kind of started cutting this room. Bumped into these corridors over here. I want to do something with it. I'm just not sure what yet. So uh, if you have an idea here... My original idea was maybe take this another three rows deep, maybe another seven or eight rows that way, uh, kind of surround it with dirt and put water in the middle and have it be in like an underground lake. Um, obviously, I couldn't get grass growing, but, you know, do flowers off of torches and stuff like that, maybe a tree or two. The third potential... Um, is something you've seen before, and I've done a little more with it, but I still don't know what I'm going to do. Oop, I didn't mean to go this way. Oh, well, we can kind of go this way. Let's go out this direction. I've still got this here. I don't know what I'll do there. I've got a lot of tunnels and stuff that I can branch off to. I'm just trying to think of ideas for new, unique rooms and projects. Let's go outside. We're actually, rather than go all the way back down and through everything, we're just going to swim through the water, over to the Great Bridge. So, obviously, other than my workshop over here, I've yet to do anything else over this way. You can see where I did those towers over there. I'm thinking about lining the edge of that hillside with a bunch of those. You know, just doing a bunch of towers with a bunch of torches, or if I can get feel like brave enough to go into the nether to gather enough nether rack, uh, maybe trying to get some of that and getting it set on fire to put up there on them. You know, kind of like we did with the look tower over there at the uh, docks. But I went through over here and I continued to be disappointed, to be quite honest. Um, I went back down to that lower level and I blew it up even more. And I still found nothing. So that's my third kind of project option, is to go ahead and do something down here. It's a fairly big cavern at this point. You know, I've blasted the hell out of it with TNT just for, you know, the sake of blasting the hell out of it. 
Uh, this might be all moot. You know, I'm going to think of one or two small projects, but right now I'm looking forward to uh, 1.6. I'm not sure what they're adding besides the nether support to SMP, which, you know, obviously I don't do this multiplayer really. But um, I know that the next patch he is planning to add floating continents, and I am looking forward to that. That is going to be fun. So yeah, any suggestions you might have, things I can do, uh, things you'd like to see me do or see my take on, uh, throw them to me. I'm looking for some suggestions. In the meantime, I am going to tag. I hope you enjoyed the new video, and I'm out for now.